Hey guys, my name is Mikael Lissol and I am three times world champion. The Vegas right now is the one, number one freestyle kite by far and it's super important to keep it that way because the freestyle kite is the main kite that we all use and it's just super important to have your gear tuned to the way you like it so that you know when the competition comes that you're going to be able to do your best with that gear. For me, I am super technical, like my gear needs to be perfect. So if I take somebody else's gear, yeah, sure, I could maybe do a few tricks, but I really need to tune myself into that gear. Oh, I always wanted to be able to like help make it better because I know everybody has different styles and everybody has different likes and dislikes about ki the kite. And I know that if we can make it so that people have different options, what's gonna make the kite amazing. I am testing the Vegas today. I'm hoping that in a lighter wind the kite will fly better so that like, I will have an advantage on the other girls if, I don't know, the wind is pretty light, so that's good. Like me and Val, we have completely different styles and we were riding the same kite and by the end of the day we kind of had completely different setups because we just ride differently. I think that like switching back from one side of the sport to the other is really good to like clear your mind because last year I did an event in Praia that was strapless and then like a few days later I had an event in Kumbuko for freestyle and that was just so nice because the break I wasn't really that stressed out for the other competition because I was like okay you've taken a bit of a break and it's just nice. I think it's really important just to know how your kite works and uh, also landing in super choppy water or even kiting in waves it's just all important to make you a well-rounded kiter because you don't want you don't want to just be good in flat water you want to be good in every, every condition because the competition sites aren't the best and I think that if you know what you're doing and you travel to places that aren't super perfect and you just get to train the gusty and choppy water it just helps you so much more during competitions when it's really bad conditions. My priority is still freestyle because that's what I love and that's what I've been doing for the past years but I would like to be able to go to all the stops because for me to be able to win in that event as well I need to be able to go to almost all of the spots and not miss one because you just need to like calc um, gain points as you go. I went to San Luis because the Olympic foil team in Brazil wanted me to try it out and see if I liked it. It would be a great experience to be able to like represent your country in the Olympics because the Olympics are like the top competition, you know. That's the ultimate goal for any athlete, I guess.